Hello and welcome to the tavern. My name's Jade. Um, I'm gonna play this again. This is gonna keep like the same thumbnail, and I'm gonna come at this from like a different kind of perspective. So, as of this recording, I feel like I've had. I feel like I could. This wasn't like a lot I could do, and I was like in a little bit of a slump. Now, in my head, is like, I want to do, like, creative things. I want to do, like, some art, make my own game, so on and so forth. I have, in my head, grand ideas that I need to start from, like, the very beginning, the very basics. Because, for me, I know almost nothing. I'm, I'm going to say very little. I've dabbled in these things. It's a lot of creative things. I've dabbled in it, but I, 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 I grow too tired of things because it's not happening fast and I have to take a step back. So I'm going to take go, come at this game from a different perspective versus other games. I'm going to be comparing games, but not from the point of, oh, this game is bad, other games are good, but from the perspective of what does the game do do well at what does it suffer from compared to other games of its type so we're gonna we're gonna go into this and we're gonna go into this with like a different type of understanding so a lot of times I say the game is bad A lot of times I say the game is bad, and that's because I'm coming from, from the perspective of I've played other games, many games where the mechanics are intuitive, they're good, you have many avenues of actually like completing an objective. You're not stuck to one thing and one thing only. In this game, there's only ever one solution to everything. So, for example, uh, like, I can't just, like, run and gun. I can't, like, yeah, I can't just run and gun. Avoid the canister. Like, I can't do things like that, especially on, like, harder difficulties. And it's kind of like I have to use this like I have a there's like a distinct focus on using one mechanic and so on normal mode I have the option of doing some running gun depending on the weapon if it's a shotgun you can, but other guns, because there's no, like, stagger, there's no hit detection, per se. No stagger, no, no hit detection. You're kind of just thinking, okay, I'm doing, either I'm doing damage based on where I see the bullets going. Because it's basically, you're basically relying on this focus here. Kind of just relying on the focus. Am I even going the right way? I don't think I am. Okay, I gotta go to 7R. Oh, that's a gun I could just, uh, okay. I'm in 5A. We're, we're going to start using like, the MP5 here. But this is what I mean, right? 
four L. Three L. Things like that. Like, I should not be worried about, like, things like that. I know where I'm going now. Wait. Do I know where I'm going? Give me that gun. One S. Earn more focus by fighting. I'm going to, I have to go to seven, right? Okay, this is confusing now. Two A. I'm kind of just running around now. Okay, that's just what three A. Two L. Like, <sighs> follow tunnel. Uh, okay. And this is pretty much what I mean, right? So, the make. Hold on. Tunnel 7 are confirmed. Follow the signs. Sparks gotta go. New tip run faster. Okay. Hold on, focus on running. You can run faster than normal, and time seems to slow down. This is very useful for getting yourself out of a tight situation, okay? And this is what I'm pretty much doing, right? This is like the speed strap of this one. Like, focus goes down slowly, but I pretty much keep my speed. Could go down. Probably would be better to go down. Especially because I gotta keep running. Come on. Okay, there we go. But, uh, yeah, so, like, the mechanics for this, well, this game largely focuses around the focus meter. As, like, it's only, like, redeeming... Pretty much, it's only redeeming mechanic is the focus. The lock-on... Like, the disarming is good, but the problem with disarming... Is that you have to get close to your target. And depending on the difficulty, that's either very easy or very hard. And it's still centered around focus to dodge enemies to, or to dodge fire while also moving towards them. 
So like it has a lot of good mechanics. Cause like you know lock on. Auto aim. Uh, wall running a lot of a lot of good mechanics. But the thing about the game is that you never need these mechanics. You don't. You never need a lot of these mechanics. Example. Uh, hold on. Like a lot of uh, uh, okay. Example of like a mechanic you don't need. Wall running. Or dodging up walls. It is never useful, and it's more of a detriment than it is an actual useful tool. Now, the reason why you never use it is because there's never any gaps where wall running is useful. It's not used for anything. Aiming. You can't pick the targets you want to really go after. It kind of goes after certain targets for you. Lock on is only good for, you know, strafe running. Uh, oh. Where am I being shot from? Okay, I see some. Like, a, a lot of things you really just aren't as useful as uh, you would think. Like, I want to be able to look up, right? How do I get up there? Oh, I see how. Like, I want to be able to do, like, a lot of other things. A lot of other cool things. But the game just doesn't allow for it. Right, I couldn't do any of that without focus, and that's the primary way you're getting rid of everybody. That's the primary re way you're getting rid of or doing much of anything. It's essentially that focus. Uh, oh, wait, what? I'm going over here now. Can this open? What is my way of going down? Do I have a sniper? There is a lift, but where's this lift at? Oh. Never mind. I'm here looking for a lift that they just give me. Okay. And that's kind of what I mean. Another thing. So it has cover mechanics. But in a lot of situations, just like that, you're not in cover. So the game suffers from like... One, the game suffers from like having too many mechanics that it hasn't fully realized how to use them. That'll be one. Because like one, I should not have died there. But this is uh, one of the things I mean. Oh. 
So when I say like, uh, it has like bad mechanics, bad, th bad everything. It's not that it's bad, but it's not cohesive to like what the game expects you to do, what the game wants you to do. Because you're mainly focusing on like a little bit of gunplay. It has fighting mechanics, but it rarely uses that. It only forces you twice in, the, in a lot of those situations. Okay, cool, you're dead. Do you have a sniper? Okay, you have a sniper. Okay. But yeah, the, it only it like you see that? It barely has any functioning like cohesion to the game. I, I'll, I'll say it like that, right? Like, the game barely functions the way it needs to. Let me just grab the sniper. Like, the collision could be better. Pull out the sniper real fast. Uh, bam. All right. Got him. Got him. All right. And now we can focus on like other things here. Because now there's nobody here to really uh, do anything to me. I'm pretty sure I can just also like just go in here as well. Pretty sure I could just shotgun my way into everything now. Health. Okay, so what am I doing here? That'll be the question. I don't think I'm getting out. What am I doing here? Oh, I guess I am getting out. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. Like... Did I really just... Where am I going? I see another ladder over there. Oh, okay, cool.
Like, okay, so we're going to go with this, right? This is like the Matrix, where we're given, like, things we can do. Why not give me different abilities, hacking abilities, things that says, hey, break the Matrix in a way. Ghost, where are you? I'm in the control tower. Are you okay? I'm not dead. Axel might not be so lucky. I need your help. There's a golf stream. Taxiway F12. <laughs> Axel is on board. I see it. Hey, stop it. We might be able to shoot out the tires. Range is extreme. Thanks. I'm heading there now. Sparks, I need to get in front of that plane. If Ghost can slow it down, Tunnel 5R should put you on an intercept course. You need to go with an infrared scope, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Like It forces a lot of this. I'm pretty sure I don't even need that that scope. I said I need a gun with like infrared scope. Okay. So I can't see a goddamn thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't see a goddamn thing. This is why this is stupid. Matrix powers in the world and you don't even have it. Oh, and now I'm just driving one of those. Okay, cool. Oh, I'm not even driving. Like, 
I don't get any of this. I'm stuck with like bullshit. Like, oh my god! Like this game needed time to be be uh refined. Because like trying to look to look look to look at it from like a mechanics point of view. I'm barely using. I'm barely using the mechanics of the game. Like they, they teach me fighting, they teach me everything, but how much of it is actually useful is like the actual problem with the game. Because everything is just like, let me see, where can I? Like I know where you are. Shotgun. Okay, cool. I'm going back up to, uh, I'm going up the ladder that I just skipped. Oh, okay. I'm about to shoot the guy. Okay, I'm pretty sure I gotta get there in like a certain amount of time. Or uh, just go? I, I, I don't even know what to game anymore. It's better not be one of those things where it's like. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, cool. Now we're in the driving section. <sighs> Wow, so Ghost never shut out the tire? Or is this like... I don't know what goes what goes on here. I don't know if, like, if there's like a branching story I'm missing or something. So acts is at one percent health.
Oh, wait, is that why I'm going back there? Parachutes? All right. All right, so now I got to go fight uh, Agent Axel, I guess. Okay, cool. I don't have to worry about Axel. Now I gotta figure out. How do I? I know where the switch is at. Come on, get out. Oh. Okay. See what I mean about mechanics in the game? Like, there's no fail set for me f falling off. Like, me falling off is like a death sentence. And so when I say like things are bad, I really mean that they are bad. Hit the button. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, that took way too long for that to happen. It should have just been like a cutscene and wham, done. gonna be like another driving section I guess you were due for some luck did you get Solon out yeah and call the rest of the fleet good let's get the hell out of here yes I would also save my progress all right we'll go we'll cutscene here all right Axel that's your dust off you know, there's a lot of guys who wouldn't have done what you did. But thank you for it. You would have. But is that or kill you? I'm just glad fate brought you to the airport. I'm not sure you'll agree with that tomorrow. Just tell Soren midnight. He'll know the place. He is fast. I will say that. you just say that's exactly how long zion lasted last time <laughs> what do you mean and who are you me nobody just a spectator enjoying a ride <laughs> seven eight two hours I think we saw all of this before, right? Oh, yeah, we saw all of this before. This is just uh, the opposite side of uh, Ghost. So, with that said, we're going to be done here. Now, back to my talks about, like, mechanics, right? The one good mechanic the game has is focus. But the problem with the focus is that the game is too reliant on focus that everything else pales in comparison. The cover mechanic. Good in a game like this? It's good in an action game, but it was poorly implemented in this game. The grenades, again, useful tool, not useful. You barely use them in anything you need them for. So there's that. The wall, the, the wall run, pretty much the wall, anything with like run, uh, running up the walls. Good mechanic, implemented poorly, and on top of that, it gets in the way of like, actually anything useful what the game needs for the most is what it needed during its time because the problem was it was rushed 
and the other problem was that it had to it had to be done by like a certain deadline before the movie came out so that way it can be a tie-in because of that it was rushed everything couldn't be developed the way it was supposed to and it came out an extreme mess it is playable it can be fun but from like a mechanics perspective it needed more time to really work. It needed more more time in the oven to come out properly. So that way everything gets used to its fullest. So the mechanics that it needed to rely on, it can rely on. Because it also has, as you saw, the fighting mechanic. The hand-to-hand -hand combat. Which also could have been fleshed out. Because, again, you do not need it. Obviously, certain fights, you're forced into it. But overall, you don't need it. So what ends up happening is the fact that you're only using focus and shooting down enemies. And only when you are forced to use the hand-to-hand -hand combat is when you're using the hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's the only gameplay loop you have to get you through the game. Everything else is irrelevant. Half the times, for like a speed run, I have not seen a speed run of this game yet, but for a speed run, you do not even, more or less, you don't need to shoot your gun. You only dodge. You pretty much just dodge, focus, run towards wherever you need to go because the loading zones will take care of everything for you unless you have to fight. Now, that being said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This has been like a different perspective. Not to say the game is bad or anything. Well, the game is bad. But mechanics wise, it has a lot to be desired. It's a lot to be um, desired. It could be improved upon. And if somebody wants to actually like, improve upon it, go right ahead. Will it be worth it? No, not really. That being said, though, uh, get the fuck out. The tavern is now closed. I shall see you guys later.